Yeah, the Lions won, and that is great news, but a, a big storyline that I think I would be remiss if I did not mention is the fact that the Raiders lost again, and now they are on a three-game losing streak. And guys, it's not going to get any better for the Raiders and for Max Crosby, the guy that Lions fans all want to come back to the state of Michigan and win a Super Bowl with the Lions. Now, the Raiders, their next three games, hell, their next five games, this is their schedule. The Chiefs, the Bengals on the road, on the road to Miami, which they could win that game, home against Denver, on the road against the Chiefs. Like, one out of the four there, five there, okay, uh, I would say the, 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 the away game against the Dolphins, they could potentially win. But then you go even farther than that. On the road against the Bucks, at home against the Falcons, uh, on at home against the Jags. So again, over the next six or seven games, they probably have one win in there. It's not going to get any better for the Raiders. They're going to lose a lot of games this year, and they're going to have to make a decision here with the trade deadline coming up soon. What do we do with Max Crosby, and what do we want this team to look like moving forward? You know, do the Raiders want to keep Max Crosby, uh, keep him there? And uh, obviously he would have to be okay with that. And he's okay with just staying there and being a part of a rebuild. Or is it time for Max Crosby to really think to himself, what do I want my career to look like? How do I want to be remembered? Do I want to be remembered as someone that was loyal to a franchise that never amounted to anything, but locally there uh, in Oakland and in Las Vegas, he's known as a legend, a Raider for life. That could be, the uh, desire for some athletes. Like, I just want to be known as a legendary player in this franchise, even if they don't amount to anything, and I'll just be loyal, which I, I do have a level of respect for. Or does Max Crosby think to himself, man, I, I want to be a winner. I want to go back to the team uh, in my home state, the Lions, in which I wore a Lions jersey when I was younger, went to Eastern Michigan, very familiar with some of the players, would click instantly with the culture, and go play for a, a, an amazing head coach in Dan Campbell. I, I mean, personally, and I'm not going to make, uh, I can't speak for Max Crosby. I think I would want to go to the Lions. Now, do the Lions want to trade for Max Crosby? That's a whole other thing. And I understand that. But just looking at it from Max's perspective, it makes too much sense. And the Raiders just lost to the Rams. Guys, the Rams, with, with all the injuries they have. And here's what Max Crosby said to local media after the game not as bad as the clip we talked about last week but you could tell i mean body language is everything guys and i know they lost but let's listen to max crosby it's about a minute long after the loss against the rams here it is um yeah if i had the answers you know i would uh, gladly put them out there but it's just you know attention to detail across the board it seemed like i played pretty well as a defense does that make this any more frustrating um, kind of feel like you have a lot of opportunities at the end of the game and potential wins yeah, I mean, I felt like overall we played pretty solid, you know, defensively. Um, things we can improve on, little things, but uh, overall I think the effort was there. Um, we played our ass off, I know that. Um, we just got to play better as a team. You know, it's the ultimate team sport, and we got to, you know, find ways to win. You guys haven't really been in a situation quite like this under Antonio Pierce, losing three straight. Um, how confident are you that you guys will be able to kind of fight through the rest of this final? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we have a close group. Um, we just got to find ways to play better ball, you know, take care of the football, take the ball away more, um, just continue improving. That's all we can do. If you had to say, like, maybe one thing that you could pinpoint it on, what would you think is the one thing that really needs to improve in the game right now? Um, I mean, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We just got to keep getting better as a team. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the loss sucks, but can you talk about your rookie, Brock Bowers, and what he means to this team right now? Yeah, he's a stud. You know, he's, since the day he got here, he's been uh, quiet, confident. Um, quiet, confident, and um, just a baller. You know? and, and he went on to speak about Brock, uh, Brock Bowers, who's the rookie tight end. He's playing really well, but you could just tell body language is everything. He's pissed off, and no one wants to lose. Uh, and obviously, no one wants to lose. He's a competitor. And again, people, you always hear athletes say this, right? Football, is, it's a kid's game. It's a child's game. You want to have fun. You want to win. You want to have fun playing the game of football. And they're just not doing that. They've lost three straight guys, and they're going to lose four straight when they welcome in the Chiefs next week. 
Like it's not going to get better. And they're going to lose five straight when they go on the road to Cincinnati, like five straight. I mean, I, if you're the Raiders, you and Tom Telesco, their GM has to think about this. Like, yeah, Max Crosby is a franchise player. He is. But you are not one quarterback away. You are not. You're just not. You, you need more than that. And if you trade Max Crosby, you will have a, a treasure chest of assets to start a rebuild. Like, in, in from the Lions' perspective, you have the cap space to do this. You have a great team already with guys that are under contract, rookie contracts. This is the time to make a move like this. You can afford to make a move like this because you're not going to have to pay Aiden. Uh, his contract won't kick in, his new deal, once he gets it, which it will be a boatload of money. It won't kick in until Max Crosby is a free agent. So if you trade for him, Aiden will be on his rookie contract while Max Crosby's here on his deal which is a hefty deal. It's in the uh, like $28 million, roughly, something like that. They can afford to do it. And you don't need a first-round pick this year or next year. You're going to be winning a lot of games. And I would rather, I'm sorry, I would rather have Max Crosby and Aiden Hutchinson and Max Crosby this year and next year, Aiden Hutchinson and Max Crosby, than have two first-round picks. Like, I just would. Now, it starts with Max Crosby asking out, which I, I guys, they're going to keep losing these games. Like, the Unless Max Crosby's okay with just accepting the fact that you, you're you're they're not going to amount to anything now. I mean, they're one of the worst teams in the NFL. They just are. And if they don't get Shadur Sanders, which is he's kind of the clear number one, uh, I've been reading a lot from different scouts saying this quarterback class. It, it a lot of quarterbacks coming out, but you can afford to trade back. Like it's not, it's not a stacked class. I, like I'll just say that. Like in the Raiders, you're gambling on basically Shooter Sanders and having the number one overall pick or nothing, you know, and that's that's a whole other thing. So, again, the Raiders, Lions fans should ha should hope they keep losing. But Max is going to have to come out and say something, man, like he he's going to have to force his way out. I know that's not his character, but look what Devontae Adams did. You know, he was he was playing good soldier for a while. And he said, you know what? I'm out of here. And they traded him to the Jets. And I know they lost. It's kind of ironic, but at least he's playing with Aaron. He's happy. You know, he's where he wants to be. Like, it's different. And I know there's a chance Max Crosby might still want to be a Raider for life. He has him tattooed. But that doesn't matter. It, guys, like, just because you have a tattoo of a team, like that team drafted Max Crosby. That team took a chance on him. He's okay. It's it's not a big deal to have them tattooed on you. Like, it, it's just a sign of respect. Like, you know, the Raiders took a chance on me. It doesn't mean just because he has him tattooed, he's going to play there his entire career. Like, let's be real. So um, he's he's clearly pissed off. The Raiders are going to continue to lose, and the Lions are on the uh, <laughs> they're on the rise again. You know they're, they're one of the best teams in the NFL. So Max Crosby, if I'm you, and even if I'm your agent, I'd be like Max, go play for the Lions. Try and force your way out, because at the end of the day, when you do land and you do land in Detroit, you're going to be embraced. You're going to be loved. You're going to be closer to home. You're going to be closer to friends and family. Uh, you're going to be winning a lot of games and you're going to be a part of the Lions first Super Bowl in their franchise history. And you get to be an integral part of that. Like he, you, it's every, there's a bunch of things that Max Crosby could be sold on. And I'm curious, like I said, the Raiders, the situation ain't getting any better guys. What'd you make of the Raiders losing once again? It, it's not getting any better here. Uh, and Aiden O'Connell just went out and he's on IR. So now they got, they're going back to Gardner Minshew, you know, and Brock Bowers is basically their only receiver uh, and he's a tight end. It's just a disaster there defensively. Yeah. They're playing a little better, but I mean, you scored 15 points and lost. I mean, you gave up 20 and lost. That's even worse. So defense can play well, still going to lose. And they're not going to beat the chiefs next week. And they're not going to beat the Bengals the following week. So they're going to fall to what two and seven. And then you face the dolphins on the road. Is that a gimme? No, even though they're not playing well, but still, could Tua be back? Now you go to two and eight. I mean, they could have two wins through like a 10, 12 game stretch. Like it's bad, very bad. And with the trade deadline coming around, decision has to be made very soon for him. Don't waste any more years with that franchise. And I can't believe I'm saying that as a Lions fan, because I know we know firsthand with Kelvin and with Barry, guys that were amazing talents that that never got to win. Right. Barry did uh, more so than Kelvin. Uh, at least, you know, Barry had playoff success. But for the most part, I mean, come join the Lions.
come have some success. It's a new era. And Lions fans and Max Crosby, Lions fans want him to be a part of it, but Max Crosby should want to be a part of this. I mean, he just should. Uh, but what do you guys think? Comment down below. I'll try to read as many as I can. And appreciate you all for tuning in as always. We're live 8 to 10 p.m. weekdays. Tune in. Catch you guys next week. Hey, what's going on there? It's Jeff I. Freddy. Appreciate you for finishing the video. You can check out one of the videos here suggested or show support by commenting, liking, and subscribing. And buy your merchandise. FisherCTSports.com.